hey what's up y'all i'm all the way in manchester new hampshire but i had to come y'all i to come to y'all real quick with the tea the sugar iced tea the whatever you want to call it on this hollywood divas reunion season three part one recap damn i'm tired already just saying that oh i'm in my hotel room chilling as y'all can see my little hotel room yes i'm here for the night but, see I have my little notes paper right here because, child, I don't have too much glare on my video. Let me close this blind a little bit. Too much glare still. Hold on. Better. Bam. Let me tell you about, oh, this Hollywood Divas season three is a hot mess.com, <laughs> but a good hot mess.com. First of all, what's his name over there? Um, Carlos King or Yuan um, Candice Man um, from Alita Housewife. What's his name again? Todd. Todd. Um, Todd Tucker. Y'all are wrong for giving us only six episodes for Hollywood Divas episode. Sorry, for season three. Six episodes. I thought y'all was give the minimum of uh, like ten or this sure wanna make me fall or something. I thought y'all would do the minimum like ten or something like episode per season. We got like six. I'm like, I blink, open my eyes back, and it was like, season reunion. I'm like, what? Child, the season went by like, like that. Anyway, it's not here or there. The season's already over, and I'm coming to y'all to give y'all a mess. The mess recap of the reunion part one. First, I will start off with the ladies, that they all look nice tonight. Um, Countess came out wearing a black um, ensemble. I do like it, you know. Um, it's very flattering for her figure. You know, she's a very short, statuous lady. She looks very nice, Countess. I love your little bob wig. She gave me a little Asian goddess. Um, then we had Lisa Wu. She came out in um, something that looks cute, very body hugging, showing her nice curvy figure. Um, it was green and black. Nice. Um, I'm not sure it was Louis Vuitton you were wearing, but not here, not here or there. Wearing some nice green pumps, and she had a little color in the hair. You know, she always do a little something somewhere with her hair all the time. So I was like in that little. Um, flavor with her hair. Um, Golden came out in this see-through sequence black dress. I don't know what it is. If it's a dress or if it's a... Uh, I don't know. But it was cute. It was like a panty underwear bra thing with like a sequence dress over red chair see-through. You know, trying to give me a little bit you know, pick her boo I see you. Um, her hair, she was even a little bit of she was on a light, not light as a brown, but um, was a bit a brownish kind of hair color. She was wearing a, 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 a new color wig. You know, she always do her little center part or a little part this way. Anyway, um, so that was golden. Um, then we had Paula J, who came out giving us blonde, blonde goddess. You know, trying to get a little something, something different with her hair. She was wearing a, a blonde wig with... Um, I guess natural, what do they call it, natural roots, where you, you have a wig, but they're trying to give natural roots realness, as they call it, um, to make it look like it's your real hair by, you know, making the roots look like it's a natural color, but the, anyway, it was all right, the wig wasn't special, I didn't, you know, get nothing special from that wig, Paula, sorry, and she was wearing this robe-looking dress, you know, a robe means that you put it over, and in the, in the middle has either a zipper or buttons or connections or something with a in the middle has like a gold ensemble in the middle it was all right it wasn't over the top dramatic like your dress last season for the reunion parlor um and then we had um malika i can't pronounce her last name sorry if i messed it up malika hack or huck sorry if i pronounce it wrong aka chloe girlfriend best friend <laughs> I know she got a mad for people saying that. Chloe, best friend. That's my best friend. Go, my best friend. Anyway, she was wearing a nice jumpsuit. She was giving us body yaddy. The jumpsuit was very like, you know, it was cut like that and you could see. She don't have big breasts. So it was kind of cute. It was very fitting for her body structure. It was like a bit blue-ish and very sequency. Um, Q2, I and mean, then she was rocking. What, what, what she did right here? All she did is, like, you know, when you have a <laughs> y'all gonna laugh, y'all know when you have a, like a long wig and y'all just want to pin it up and do something cute with it, but the you know, you're trying to like you're trying to put you put, you put the wig up in like in a ponytail, a low ponytail, you twist it and then you pin it up like a um, 
like you're trying to do an updo, and you have it fall down, and then you pull out some some to the sides, like I don't know, Malika, that cute, that wig wasn't cute for you, sorry girl, but the the, the outfit, the, the jumpsuit was cute. Anyway, then I'm now that I've talked about the outfits and the fashion, and you know, messy Carlos King, the exec producer, was the host. He, you know, he has to come with the host with the mostest. Okay. Um, so let me just dive right into it. Last night also revealed the premiere of um Wifey's um not wifey, wifey, Countess Vaughn new song slash new video that was um that was the video was um produced by um, Lisa Wu. Lisa, I'll give you props for... It's really hard for me to like to tell what I need to give props for. The concept wasn't really... She, Lisa was not really the person who was shooting the video, but she was the producer. So if you want something to be captured, you tell the person, the cameraman, to shoot this and shoot that and cut that. And, and when you're editing, you make sure it, certain parts get into the video. If y'all have not yet, I'm not going to go too much in the video right now because I already recapped the video in a previous video that you can go to my um, my YouTube um, channel and look up on the Rasta Boy TV. You'll see the um, the reaction video for Countess Vaughn video, Wifey. So I'm not going to go over that anymore. But I was saying, Lisa, we did an okay job. It could have been better, but, I'm, but it was an okay attempt. Okay, that's all I'm going to say about the Wifey video. Um, so check my recap out of the wifey video on my YouTube channel, Rasta Boy TV, and I'll go more into depth about that. They went in that that boy, um, that boy, um, Dorian. Was there an, um, was Dorian on College Hill? College Hill, um, BET. Remember BET had that reality TV show where these black college kids from different schools around the around the country were placed like in a house for like a summer vacation and you know just like real world or whatever they had i like the I like, you know I like college when they did have it on i think doran um which is malika um bff um aka chloe kardashian friend too um i think that's the show he was on when we all was introduced to him and now he's doing a little bit of acting and modeling there and swear that he's not gay and swear he's not gay. That boy Dorian swear he's not gay. I don't know who he's for, is fooling. But anyway, I'm not here to call nobody out. You know, to, you know he will reveal himself when it, when it's time. You know, the the streets are talking, and I'm definitely listening. Um. Anyway, they went in on this ad because you know when the season started, you know we were not, well, not we. America was introduced to the new girl because, you know, uh, what's her name? Elise Neal. She came on the show. I guess she was not about the old drama life. So she was like, so they um, had Malika come in, which we don't really, I don't know of her of in anything movie wise. She said she was in some movie that was maybe on TV one, I guess, or went to DVD. I don't know. Don't judge me. But I don't know what movie she was in or what anything that came out in the movie theater or DVD, I don't know what she was in. She's but she is known as Chloe Kardashian BFF. We see her on Chloe Kardashian, um I'm, I'm, I'm Tate Miami or whatever, the Kardashians. We see her on um anything with Chloe. In the clubs, IG, you know, all those posts, we know we see her from those stuff. We don't see her going on anything, doing anything, acting or whatever. I think one time I heard that she was gonna get her own show with her and her sister. I don't see nothing on E, so I don't know what's going on with that. But probably this is a, little, a new star for her for getting herself out there. Because other than being Khloe Kardashian, Shadow Malika, you're nobody. In my opinion, I will say that because we don't know if you doing anything else than always, you know, Chloe, you know, always, you know, being Chloe's friend or being there for Chloe and you know, going shopping and da 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 da. No, the whole works. But we don't know of anything you've done career wise. Other than that movie that they said you were in, that they show us a glimpse of. I don't know, nothing is from you, Malika, but I'm not gonna be here. I'm not gonna beat you up with that. I guess this is gonna be a new start for you to get yourself out there. I don't know who the hell texted me. Um, but there's a new start for you to get yourself out there and um for us to see more of you. Just I saw your audition for the um the Michelle um lifetime story that's coming out on Lifetime eventually, sometime maybe next year, this year or next year. So that's kind of good that you're getting out there doing auditions and we're gonna see some upcoming projects. Good to you. Shout out to you. But your friend Dorian is messy. Do the same way Countess friend slash stylist slash girlfriend sister is messy, Savannah. Your friend Dorian is messy. And when he started the season, we were not sure who you were. 
and you introduce yourself to us, and then when you and him was having a one-on-one -on -one conversation about um about you know the the new girls, I mean the girls that you're gonna be a part of in the show, she um he you know he commented about oh they're old. First of all, she signed up for the show. If she want to be on the show with them to get herself out there or to rebrand herself, why would she go on a show? And if you come on, you come on the show to be messy or to add your little side comments. You're adding yourself, you're adding yourself out there to get more exposure. Also, because guess what? We don't know how much of you have done. Also, I heard that you've done some stuff on cable, but we, your name is not known. Like we know of girlfriends that is. UPN and C double then be on BET. We know of um Parker's that is rerun on BET every time and Moesha. We know of um Lisa Wolf from Atlanta also when it started. We know of um Paula J. Parker from Friday or whatever she's in been um you know whatever movie she was in with Ice Cube or whatever. We know of stuff from people who are on the show, what they have done and you know made themselves a name. Other than Malika, you know, your friend who is a, like a sidekick of um, a popular reality TV family we don't know if her being anything else and then you coming on the show trying to add your two cents and then calling the ladies names or saying that they're old it's not cute especially when you have worked with i'm a you said golden on previous projects but golden read you fulfilled and went in on you hmm. the other girls were going into but golden went over the top on you <laughs> anyway let me go more into depth um Lisa Wu, um, anyway, let me move on to, they, call, they brought up Savannah. I'm just going to do the highlights. They brought up Savannah. You know, Savannah was looking cute. She came out in her cute little feather, really, you know, um, knee-high dress, looking cute in her, in her wig slash weave, whatever she having, because she's a mix. <laughs> she have her cute little straight center part, you know, Asian cut looking weave. And she looked cute, and she uh, she looks very snatched and cute. The face, what the face was very beat. I will give her that because throughout the season she was looking a bit, you know, on and off, hit or miss. But she was looking really good tonight. Uh, Savannah, I will give you Savannah Garcia. <laughs> she said she's mixed. I, I, Melika, Melika was Melika was being a bitch saying that she must have mixed with mixed with black and stupid. I can't with these girls. And I tell you, Melika trying to be shady tonight. It was cute for her because we know when we she's being like a bit more reserved and when I heard her going in about I will read you right back to church or whatever I'm like okay and when she was going in and with her little side jabs and stuff I'm like okay Malika I'm like now you're piping the season over for the season you were being like getting more reserved now your season over you're trying to pipe up because she's trying to come back for season four anyway um Savannah came out and Charlie went in on Savannah from Savannah saying that she's Countess friend and she was there since for Countess ever since you know she was on the Parkers. I don't know that I don't know this friend, but again we don't know Savannah. So um so she says she's been there for Countess ever since she's been on the Parker, so she's been there in Countess corner and in times when they want to chime up or go off on counter she's going to be there to defend her friend and that's what friends should do once when you go off on your fucking friend or trying to pop about your friend you should be there if the friend is not somebody who is very vocal pop up for them defend your friend back up your friends that's what we should be doing no physical altercation needs to happen but but uh, you know yo you know, squash it all shit, you know, you know, what's going on, you know, chime in or say something, don't let people trying to be like, you know, trying to, you know, jump your friend and something like that, you sit there and whatever, I don't say nothing, okay, so that's what Savannah, to me, comes off as, sometimes it may not come off good or right, but shit, Savannah, they, they need to be more Savannahs out there, um, you know, to back their friends, even though people say Savannah is messy, probably she is, and probably that's why TV One wanted to make sure that she was a part of the show, ha ha ha, hint hint, because the show would probably be boring, I'm just going to be honest. This show, Hollywood Divas, other than um, Missy Countess working on our project, what, what was Lisa doing this season other than helping Countess with our video? Um, we saw that she went on one audition for our Michelle project. We saw that, um, you know, Golden got fired or, or got, she got recast for um, a TV pilot. Um... Lisa, I'm sorry, Paula was working on so-called music that she's going to be a rapper now and she keep on bragging about her upcoming project that she has on cable TV. Other than that, I don't even see they're doing much than going to have dinner, going to have cocktails, going to have lunch, going to over somebody's house for this, going to or having a party. So other than that, I don't even see much of a project going on this season with the girls. Probably that's why I was cut to only six episodes. But anyway, um... 
Probably that's why I said before, Savannah was added in the season to make sure it wasn't boring and to amp it up. Because you know, TV don't like boring people. And the more boring you are and the more blind you are, nobody gonna watch and you lose viewership. And if you lose viewership, no sponsors, and no more TV on the show. AKA, no more RB Divas Atlanta, no more RB Divas LA, no more Hollywood, um, no more Hol um, Hollywood X's Atlanta, no more Hollywood X's LA. No more basketball wives, Miami. No more basketball wives, New York. You know, if they keep on, you know, not bringing it, they're going to cut you. No more um, ATL house, um, AT, I'm sorry, housewife of DC, um, real housewife of Miami. They need to cut housewife of um, Dallas too. Anyway, I'm not going off about the other shows, but I'm just telling y'all now, when y'all don't amp it up, on these shows, what we want to see, the drama and the, uh, we don't watch. And I'm going to include myself. We don't watch. And thus, they get people on the show like Savannah. Um, that girl who came on the show, the comedian, the comedian girl who came on the show with um, Paula J. To amp it up and chime in and have a little... Uh, and then that's how the show goes. And then they have arguments and beef. Sometimes they are really cool friends in real life. and But on the show, they do stuff just to make it amp it up. It's called a check. It's called acting. It's called whatever. Real, real TV shows. Anyway, this part one was very full of drama. And um, Paula trying to show shade at um, at Lisa producing skills. She didn't really say yes or no. She liked the, 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 the whole video. But she said she liked Countess booty shot in the last few minutes of the video. Shady, huh? Um, what's an... Um, Malika didn't really say much in this part of the reunion. Then she did try to um, defend her sister. The sister was also her twin, was sitting in the audience beside Dorian. And I think when Paula said hi to, um, to her sister in the audience, Lisa had something to say. And then she's like, ah, oh, you're not going to say nothing to about my sister. That's my sister. You never come from my sister. And that, you know, Malika was a bit boring on this part one reunion. Countess was snapping. She was snapping and she walked off the set because they were going in on she, they were trying to go in on her. She defended her child, defend herself. She called Paula. But Paula, she called Paula, Paula out. That's why her mother don't claim her. Um and she snapped and go off and she walked off the stage. Um Lisa went to go um make sure she's okay. And there goes Paula making side jab comments. Savannah went to go make sure she's okay. And you know, that's where it ended. She said she needed a moment. And we're going to see when they reconvene next week for the part two reunion of Hollywood Divas. Countess is not over. She's not done. She's going to go more in on, um, what's his name? Paula J. Parker, husband. I can't remember what his name is. Making little comments. You know, he took jabs at um, Savannah. And, you know, Countess going to go in on him next week. Um, I see. Oh, my bad. Um, Countess got in with, um, with Golden. Because Golden had comments to say throughout the season, and she's saying that, sorry, Golden always talked behind her back and saying stuff and not being supportive.